It's common in these crazy days for people to talk about how their energy is low, how they're more irritable, more impatient, et cetera. But what do we do in this environment that we're in right now, in this crazy world that we're in, when our energy is low, we're not feeling ourselves, we're not feeling energetic, obviously, right? We're not feeling optimistic, maybe. What do we do when that energy is low? David Essel here, 45 years as a counselor, master life coach, number one best-selling author. Uh, we do so many different things, but this is a crucial one. So many people are struggling right now with extremely low energy. So let's go through a couple ideas. Number one is sleep. Most of us are struggling with sleep. So many people are getting four hours, five hours, six hours, when maybe they do need eight or nine hours. And while there are some people who are different, you know, that can work on four hours of sleep, that's pretty rare. Most experts, I just did a little research before we started this podcast, and even in 2024, many of the biggest medical schools are still talking about how adults over the age of 50 still need their seven to eight hours of sleep a night. So, you know, one thing is when we're exhausted, check our sleep, right? When we check our sleep, are we scrolling before bed? Are we watching too many exciting TV shows before we go to bed? You know, are we doing something calm instead before bedtime? You know, are we journaling? Are we reading something very mellow or spiritual? You know, are we reading something faith-based, right? Like, let's get our energy up by making sure that our sleep hygiene or sleep habits are really exceptional. So that's number one. Number two. And while some people can get by an intermittent fasting, most of us need to eat food every three hours or three and a half hours to keep our energy levels high. So many of the clients I'm currently working with right now that are really struggling with uh, their energy levels, they won't eat breakfast, they'll wait till noon, they'll have something at noon, and then at night they eat from like five o'clock till eight or nine, right? They, they're so hungry from the day. And they're also exhausted. And so when we're tired, a lot of times we're gonna reach out for food as a way to lift ourselves up, right? Not a good idea. Idea. But if you're eating every three to four hours, your blood sugar levels stay normalized, so your energy will be higher for most of us. If intermittent fasting works for you, don't change a thing. For the rest of us, if we're struggling with our energy, let's go ahead and do that. Number three, there are frequencies on YouTube that I absolutely love. 425 is one, 888 is another one. You can go on YouTube and Google frequencies for healing. To have that on in the background can actually boost your energy. To have that type of really melodic, beautiful music stay in the background while you're at work, while you're making dinner, etc., can actually boost energy levels. And they've seen in studies that music can boost the immune system. So why not, right, give us more energy, feel more energetic. I have a client that uses praise music every morning. Oh my God, this woman is fantastic. She dances around her bed, she's singing her praise music, and she comes out of that bedroom with tons of energy every day. And she said, David, before I started this practice that you asked me to do, I was dragging my butt every day out of bed. Now I get up and I'm ready to go. The last thing I'm gonna say with energy is breath work. And that might sound strange, right? But when we have low energy, it could mean that we're breathing too shallow. We've got a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. We wanna do diaphragmatic breathing, which is a hand on your stomach. And when you breathe, the stomach moves out. Actually, the diaphragm is filling, pushing the stomach out, but the stomach isn't really the thing that's moving the diaphragm is, right? So when we do deep breathing with our hand on our stomach, 10, five, five, 10 deep breaths can actually boost our energy as well. If you need more tips, more help, reach out to me at talkdavid.com. We have five books there for free. That might help your energy as well. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm David Essel.